So this is the Dumble Drive guitar pedal from Donner. This is a true analog circuit overdrive pedal that's based on that rare and legendary Dumble amplifier. This amp in particular has had the likes of many incredible guitarists such as John Mayer, Stevie Ray, and Robin Ford. Now, since there were only a select few, maybe in the hundreds of these amps made, they go for an extreme amount of money, which makes getting the sound very difficult, especially because the Dumble is its own sound. But luckily in this day and age, there are remakes of this iconic sound through amp copies and guitar pedals. So the question for this video is, can we get that classic Dumble sound with this inexpensive and very affordable guitar pedal from Donner? And if not, what else can it do and would it still be worth buying? So let's find out and get right into it. So the Dumble Drive has four knobs. Two are gain and volume, and the other two are EQ adjustments, bass, and treble. It also has a mode switch with three options that give you slightly different sounds. One has more gain, two has less gain with more clear tone, and the third has more gain, compression, and slight sustain. To be honest, there really isn't much of a significant difference between the three. But it is slightly noticeable, and you'll hear the differences in just a second. So to start off, I'm going to demonstrate the four recommended settings they give you in the guide that comes with the pedal. And then I'll tell you my personal thoughts on each and how to maybe make them sound a little bit better. And then I'll find my own settings where I think this pedal really shines through and sounds its best. So the first one I just played was called Clean Boost and it really wasn't much of a boost, but the simple fix to that is just up the volume and gain up. Now that's a lot better. You can really hear the differences in tone and volume, and it actually sounds very cool, clean, warm, and smooth. The next setting that they give us is crunch rhythm. Now I do really like this setting. There's a clear difference and it sounds great with the neck pickup on a Strat. And I'm also starting to hear some similarities with that classic Dumble sound. Also, I wanna say that if anything, this pedal is really enhancing the sound of the amp. It's very transparent and it's adding a lot to the tube tone. Let's check out the third and fourth recommended settings and then we'll get into more tone options that go beyond what they recommend. So for this setting, it's called low gain solo and it's very little gain. It sounds a bit warmer, but me personally, I would up the gain and volume knobs again, just to get more out of it. And for the fourth setting, we have smooth solo. Now I really like this one as well. It has that smooth Mayer tone to it. And again, we're getting closer to that clean Dumble sound. The Dumble sound, in my opinion, is both a unique, clean and mid crunch overdrive tone. And so far, I think this pedal is going into the right direction. The only thing that I noticed is that the volume knob needs to be either higher or equal to 12 o'clock. Otherwise your amp sound will not get any louder. It actually might get a little lower. But if you have the gain knob going past maybe say one or two o'clock and the volume knob is before 12 o'clock, then that's where we actually might get into more of that dumble sound. The thing that makes this specific sound stand out more than other amps such as Marshall, Vox, or Fender is that it has really rich 
and deep lows, but they're still very clear. Robin Ford himself has said this. He also goes on to say that the mid-range is punchy and clear, and the high end is bright and clear, but it doesn't hurt or pinch your ears. Now the Donner pedal can actually help you get this sort of range. And to really achieve the sound with this pedal, I think it's best to up that bass EQ knob, have the gain and volume knob go up as well, and have that treble go back just a little bit, maybe around anywhere between nine and 11 o'clock. And this is where you can start to get into that realm of that tone, and it sounds great. Now, before I get into the other things that this pedal can possibly do for your sound, here are some of my favorite tone and knob adjustments. <laughs> So to answer my own question in the beginning of this video, can this pedal give you that dumbbell sound? Yes, but is it an exact match? No, but it's pretty damn close. And for under 50 bucks, it's definitely worth the small investment, not only to achieve this iconic dumbbell sound, but to have a pedal that's a slight booster, a tone enhancer. You can use it for crunch, overdrive, smooth and clean leads. And it also gives you a very punchy rhythm. Now it also works really well with other pedals. I've used it with the Keeley Compressor, the Strymon Deco and other effects pedals that I have, and it only made them sound even better. So what do you think about this Dumble Drive pedal from Donner? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to book a private guitar lesson with me, you can do so down in the description. And also let me know what other gear you would like to see me demo or review on my channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember to keep on playing.